Thank you, uh, Lisa Martin and uh, guests uh, for uh, joining us today. Uh, uh, first off, uh, I'd like to ask you, you guys, uh, just how you met and uh, kind of developed uh, the sound here. Well, we've known each other a really long time. Uh, we went to school together as kids, but reconnected as adults. We had the same guitar teacher growing up, and um, I got into the singer-songwriter thing uh, in the late, mid to late 90s, and um, was doing mostly open mics at coffee houses and things like that, and ran into him in a store and told him my adventures, and <laughs> eventually convinced him to come play some music, and Carl, we met at the Big Brothers Big Sisters uh, thing that they do every year in Amherst, and um, he was actually playing with another artist, and as he was packing up his gear, I said, hey, because we singer-songwriters are pushy like that. <laughs> I said, hey, if you want to sit in on a few tunes, come on and join me. And um, so he did. And you know, we play as often as possible. Uh, not every gig demands band members, but when it does, I have people that I draw from, and these are some of them. <laughs> and uh, 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 who are your uh, biggest influences as far as other songwriters go? That's really a tough question. A lot of people ask that, and I'm influenced by many, and not just females, but um, if I have to pick like, maybe my top three, I'll say uh, Carol King, I love Sheryl Crow, and um, I have to keep my options open on the third top, because I'm not sure. I, I listen to a lot of different kinds of music. So one one thing I really liked about your, your songwriting is uh, you, you you're not afraid to explore other genres. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, when, when you uh, when you're approaching a song, do you do you think about oh I want to write a song in this particular genre, or just just happens to kind of come about that way? Sometimes it just happens. Um, certain uh, content projects a mood, and then I usually write my uh, music first and then I'll match lyrics to that later. Um, but I often start off with an idea and maybe a word or two or a phrase and then um, I build around it. And that to me often dictates um, the mood of the song. Like I even have two Celtic tunes that I've written. One's an Irish drinking song. And <laughs> you know, I don't play those out often, but, but just to say I'm not afraid, like you said, yet to try out other genres. And, uh, the diversity. Do you have anything uh, in the works as far as like uh, m might be doing an album in the future? Uh, do you have plans to do an album? I do. Everyone does. Everyone has plans to do an album. I have three albums already um, that I've done over the years and two of them um, I made with Mark there at Signature. Um, I have a bunch of raw tracks at his studio right now that um, I have to build upon and it's just a matter of getting the time and the finances in order to go work it up. And yeah, I look forward to putting out at least one more or two more records. Uh, is there a specific kind of vision for your next record um, as far as like uh, the material goes? I try to mix it up a little bit um, and I've gotten in trouble for that. Uh, I'll, I remember my very first record that I put out, um, of course I was very proud of it, it was my first effort, but um, I sent it off to like folk DJs and I got into a little bit of trouble because there were a lot of um, electric guitars and you know it was considered more rock than folk and so um, I, but I don't feel a need to be cautious in that regard because I think my audience is out there and uh, that's what I need to be true to rather than trying to get the right kind of airplay. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I mean Bob Dylan played electric guitars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Well, some of them are much more purist. You know, they want yeah. all acoustic instruments on on something that they're playing. Or and honestly, I, I, it's it's a business that's tough, and I haven't really honed like getting it out where it needs to go once you put out the record. And I, I sell them at live shows, and it's online and that kind of thing. But you know, I haven't. Uh, necessarily done the the mass mailing across you know for all the radio play and stuff like that that's it's a lot to undertake as when you're a one person you know operation in that regard and uh, what do you love kind of about the about the dynamic between the other band members I love the harmony 
that always adds so much. It's just the fullness. Um, sometimes when it's just you and your guitar, it's great. But yeah, like when he, it's funny because you know you're, you're playing your part and then you hear what he's doing on on one side with these cool fills and in your mind you're just like wow that's so cool and then what he's doing on the bass to carry the low end and and adding so much with the harmony vocals I think it just it makes the song bigger and of course you know better so and do you have any shows uh, coming up uh, early November that's pretty much when the uh, video will be released on November 3rd early November I'm at the Red Lion Inn <laughs> I'm there once a month actually and uh, when one month I'm solo and then the next month a trio and then I uh, have uh, other stuff that I'm involved with most recently, the Western Mass Songwriters Collaborative. Peter Newland, myself, Sparky Allison, and Paul Sticka have kind of joined forces to create a new entity to just revive um, the original music scene in Western Mass. And so we do monthly showcases. Um, that's coming up on October 26th. I'll, I'll plug them at Nadine's. I'll be there, but I'm not performing this month. Um, and we have cool guests. It's in the round. We're kind of modeling after the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville, what we're doing. So. And your website has all that, too. My website, yep. All my dates are listed there, and um, um, stuff is added all the time. So. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Lisa, Martin, and company, for uh, being on uh, sessions. Thank you so much. Pleasure thank to have you, you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys, for being support.